In today's video, we're going to make some acetyl oxide, which is a simple alpha-beta unsaturated ketone made from condensation between two acetone molecules. But instead of producing it from acetone, I'm going to make it from diacetyl alcohol. In terms of chemicals, there are only two chemicals needed, diacetyl alcohol and elemental iodine as a catalyst. If you don't have diacetyl alcohol, you can make it from acetone instead. But when I'm trying out making diacetyl alcohol from acetone, only got 7% yield after 48 hour reaction time, so I just bought a bottle of diacetyl alcohol instead. First, 180 grams of diacetyl alcohol is charged into a flask. My alcohol is yellow, which probably contaminated with impurities. Then, few ion crystals are added into alcohol. As the ion dissolves, the solution took on a dark purple color and a fractional column is set up, and the hot plate was turned on. So, what happened in the reaction glass? This is the second step of aldo condensation. Usually, beta hydroxyl carbonyl compound lost water to form an alkene under basic conditions like potassium hydroxide. But you may ask, wait a minute, now it's a neutral condition. Why this compound can still dehydrate it easily? The key is the elemental iodine. First, Iodine reacted with hydroxyl group to form an oxygen iodine bond with loss of hydrogen iodide. Then, this newly formed hyperiodide group is a good living group, thus promoted elimination and generate alpha beta unsaturated ketone. After that, hydrogen iodide and hypoiodous acid reacted together to regenerate iodine catalyst. This solute between 80 degrees Celsius to 130 degrees Celsius is collected and this solute is separated into two layers. The upper layer is mosquito oxide and the lower one is aqueous layer. Separated two layers in a separatory funnel and wash it with saturated sodium chloride solution, finally dried of anhydrous calcium chloride. After that, the calcium chloride is filtered out and fractional distilled. It. Fraction between 125 degrees Celsius to 130 degrees Celsius is collected. 103 grams of mosquito oxide is produced and total yield is 67%. And a low yield is because I accidentally spilled some product onto the table. The mosquito oxide will be used in future videos where I synthesize thymidone. That brings it to the end of this video, and here is a good place to end the video.